So with Colin West, who is our fabulous auctioneer, Colin, how did the auction go today? Oh, I thought it was a superb auction. The room was full. Uh, there's a lot of really good results on, on the majority of lots. Some lots didn't quite make the reserve, but I understand now we've tied quite a few of them up afterwards. Uh, but there were some very popular lots, some very very active bidding, competitive bidding, resulting in the vendor you know achieving probably more than what they would expect. Excellent. And an auctioneer seems like quite a specialist job. How did you get into that? Uh, I got into auctioneering because basically nobody else would do it. We went into property auctions, and uh, because a lot of the a lot of the auction lots, potential auction lots, we were selling through our estate agency network, they were being taken off us and taken and taken down to a London auction. And people don't travel well to the national auctions, so uh, they were selling for not a lot of money. So we started our own auctions locally, and uh, they tended to get achieve a higher price if they were offered in the locality of the property. So that's what, how we managed to get into it. And you see, over that period of time, have you seen an uplift in people coming to auctions and selling through auctions and become more mainstream? In, in recent years, there's been a, a, a massive uplift of the number of properties going to auction and the vendors choosing auction as their preferred route. And the main benefit probably is the certainty of sale. Because there's that much uncertainty in the open market private treaty method at the moment, where you don't really know, A, how long it's going to take to sell, and B, how much you're going to get. The auction provides that line in the sand. The auction day date is the line in the sand, and it's that that concentrates people's mind. And, that's, and that, along with a very competitive guide price, uh, encourages them to get out of their armchairs, to get out from behind their televisions, to jump in the car, put their coat on and go into view because they know on that day in the very near future that property will be offered and is very, very likely to be sold. So it's that that creates the urgency in a market that's rather sluggish. Um, so that's probably the main reason that vendors have chosen the auction route and have done so in, in recent times. Any advice for people considering buying the auction? I've got loads of advice for people that uh, are considering buying an auction and it's, and it's the obvious typical advice and that is make sure you view the property uh, if viewings are available, they're not always available but the majority of properties are available for, for viewing. Make sure you read the legal plan. If there are any essential works that might prohibit financing make sure you get specialist reports on these essential works. Not cosmetic improvements, not superficial improvements, but, but structural uh, essential works. Um, make sure you read the legal pack or get your legal representative to legal, read the legal pack. And last but not least, we can't all buy with cash. Not everybody is cash rich to the purchase price of a lot of properties. And a lot of people have to arrange finance. Make sure that's in place before the auction day. Because on the fall of the gavel, that is a legally binding contract. You've got to pay 10% deposit. You're going to wave but goodbye to that 10% deposit if you, haven't, if you haven't got sufficient funds to complete the transaction normally 28 days later. 28 days is not a lot of time for a, a lender, a building society, to get to turn around an application to an offer of mortgage to have the monies available for you. So make your investigations before the auction. Get your survey done before the auction. And um, that's the last Auction House Scotland auction of the year. How many are happening next year? Uh, I'll be. Uh, yeah, we'll, auction House Scotland will be involved in seven auctions next year. So. From the end of January, you will have an option available to you to either purchase or put your property in every seven weeks. Yeah. So I hear you're changing venue next Oh, great year. news for next year. We're changing our venue to 200 St Vincent Street, Glasgow, uh, which should prove a very, very, very good decision.